Loda Group is joining hands with U.S. tycoon Donald Trump's firm to launch an ultra-luxury residential project right here in Mumbai. Vikram Oza is in conversation with Donald Trump Jr. Let's cut across live. So recognize that when we go abroad and take the brand abroad, you know, that we don't know all things in those markets and we have an understanding. We know what we don't know. Uh, and, and that's an important thing of probably another lesson that we learned back from the day. So we bought Doral, you know, an incredible 800 acres in Miami, five golf courses, 800 hotel room complex. Uh, we won the bid for the old post office from the GSA in Washington, D.C. on Pennsylvania Avenue. We're going to turn that into what will hopefully be the greatest hotel anywhere in the United States, if not the world. Uh, you know, and a lot of other golf course investments that we were able to buy that, you know, someone puts a, builds a golf course for $100 million, no one shows up, we can pick it up for 10 cents on the dollar, put a lot of money into making them sort of Trump standard, right. uh, but those became incredible investments for us. So we, we deployed a lot of capital uh, in, the in, in the U.S. and, you know, and a couple abroad. In, in, in the U.K., we just bought Turnberry right. uh, recently, the big golf resort. We had a big investment in Aberdeen, which is the oil capital of Europe, um, Dunebeg in Ireland. Uh, so we deployed you know, capital all over the place, but we were able to uh, do deals and take advantage of opportunities that would have never made sense uh, in the post uh, preliminary emerging markets. It's Don Jr. That's, that's what I'm interested in because did you see uh, value over there? Because even today, when you look at your interest in India, it's still a branding, licensing, branding and licensing deal. Right. Well, the opportunity to turn into those, you know, eventually those deals become equity deals. Again, I think we have a good understanding of what we don't know. Uh, to say that we can build in New York is one thing. To come into India, we've seen, you know, if you look at perhaps the private equity returns of people who have come into India to try to invest in real estate as outsiders uh, without much help from the inside, uh, it hasn't worked out for them. I don't think anyone's had positive returns. So, you know, for us, it was about creating a great partnership, uh, partnering with a group like the Loda Group or Panshil in Pune, and really finding people who understood those local markets. Those are the ways we get involved. Once those relationships are formed and we have an understanding of how we work, how the teams work, you know, that's when we start talking about you know, much more substantial equity investments. So the relationships we have now in India are very strong. When I first came here seven or eight years ago, it was, well, you should see this piece of land that I have. It's incredible. Okay, well, it's not really my land. It's someone else's land because everyone's a very you know, serial entrepreneur in India. And so people oftentimes portrayed their holdings as different than what they actually were to ultimately try to broker themselves into a deal. But I think now I've had enough visits here, I've spent enough time here, have a very good understanding of who is who and who really has have what. Have formulated a strategy of how to separate the wheat from the chaff, as it were? I think we have. I, I think we have. And it's all been relationship-based. Yeah. It's relationship-based. Uh, you know, it's time, it's seeing these people, it's not necessarily, you know, now I have 20 people that I can call to be like, is this person the real deal or are they just selling me something that they don't really have, hoping to then be a part of a greater picture if and when a deal perhaps uh, materializes. Sure. So, uh, you know, a lot of it is just boots on the ground uh, diligence and really, you know, forming friendships over time. I mean, for us, you know, I often say we're in the relationship business. When we have one of those relationships, it often one deal turns into three or four because, frankly, it's easiest that way. When you understand how you work with someone else and you can work well with them, uh, it just makes it much easier to go forward uh, you know, for the future deals. And so well, that's, that's how it's been. The saying, Don Jr., seven to eight times you've been to India. Certainly, there would be certain aspects of real estate and how uh, the business functions over here that really stand out compared to the many other geographies that you work in. Uh, walk us through world. a few of them. It's a, it's a very different world here than it is anywhere else. And by the way, as it is in any other market. Right. India, India is different. Yeah, unique quality. India is different than China, is different than the U.S., uh, and everyone has an expertise. Because that's something that you have to work on, work around, and consider all of that to turn what you're saying are branding partnerships into equity. If you look at the past, I'd say, you know, a lot of the regulation pre perhaps these new elections. I think you have a, a new prime minister that's been elected on a mandate of sort of, you know, clearing things up, making things a little bit more simple.